It's hard to imagine the Old West without Old Tucson. The movie set, theme park located just outside of the Old Pueblo has been the backdrop of more than 200 films. But for the past few years, it looked more like a ghost town. It was closed at the start of the pandemic and faced an uncertain future. But now, a new owner breathing new life into the iconic Arizona attraction. Fox 10 photojournalist Brian Kay and Joe Tillman tell us more. Hi, my name is P.J. Lawton. Um, I was and hopefully still am the historian for Old Tucson Studios. Southern Arizona is a unique place for filming. And in 1937, 1938, Columbia came here looking for a, a, an appropriate place to build a movie set for a movie they wanted to film called Arizona. So they spent a half million dollars building what at that time was the largest non-Hollywood uh, movie studio. And after all that was said and done, uh, Columbia went back to, to Hollywood. And Old Tucson just was left to melt during World War II. In 1959, an investor and, and developer by the name of Bob Shelton came to Tucson. He had been a, a regular visitor here. He was looking to start a, a western town, more for tourists than for filming. And in January 1960, he opened it to the public. Uh, the first weekend, they had 60,000 people show up. They turned away as many, as, as many people as that that couldn't even get near the place. From there on, it was, it was just a hit with the public to come out here. They brought in a movie called uh, Deadly Companions with Maureen O'Hara and, and uh, Brian Keith. Uh, that was the first movie filmed there under Bob's ownership. Uh, it caught on in Hollywood. They liked the look of the place, and movies just started flocking there. And when these movies that came in, new buildings came with it. And so over the years, the town grew as the movies came in, until it became what it was in 1995, uh, which was an extremely well-developed, professional uh, movie studio with everything they needed to film. Well, it happened in uh, 1995. Um, I first heard about it when I walked out my front door and saw the smoke. I knew what it was. So I jumped in my car and headed that way and reported it to our communications. Uh, I was actually the first person on the, on the scene. Uh, it, was, it was a tremendously hot fire. Uh, it was difficult to fight because the, the pump to the emergency water supply was not working. We had a fire engine, it wouldn't start. Um, it was just a, a whole lot of things that happened internally that uh, really hurt the efforts. Uh, but we got every fire department in, in the greater Tucson area including the Air National Guard out there. When they showed up with their water tankers, that was when the, the tide really turned on fighting it. I'm surprised that anything was saved. Hi, my name is Candace Shelton. Um, I am the daughter of Bob Shelton, who started Old Tucson. I'm Carolyn Shelton, Bob's widow. was a single dad uh, starting Old Tucson back in really 1958, 59, and 60. And he, um, we would go out with, we'd have to go out with him sometimes and be out there all day while he was working. And so it was getting to know the boardwalks of Old Tucson, all the shops, all the people. It was a fun time to watch um, how it grew. It grew from, um, the sleepy tourist attraction that dad got involved with and watch it evolve into um, really a motion picture mecca when he built the soundstage and movies here just right after each other and commercials and, and TV programs and to watch that evolve. Used to be back in the day that if you had a, a, a friend come to town or a house guest, you always went out to Old Tucson because there was always something going on. There was always a movie. 
happy place. And of course, that was Bob's thought all the time. I wanted to see smiles on people's faces and families enjoyed it, kids enjoyed it. It just, you're, you're back in the Old West. And it just seems, you mentioned the name Old Tucson and the community is so supportive and it's just part of our lives. Hi, I'm Ian Van Cleve, production manager here at Old Tucson Entertainment. It has such a rich history, for one. Two, you're walking onto a, a movie set that you can see in hundreds of movies. Walk down the streets that some of your favorite actors have walked down, see the buildings that they were, um, that they shot at. You get to walk back into the Old West and experience life like it was in the 1880s. It really is an iconic landmark, an historical site. Um, and to have that in your backyard, just to be able to go and see the film set and film studio and experience the Old West, that's something unique that we grew up with that not a lot of people do. Oh. Old Tucson is reopening in October for Nightfall. Nightfall is our Halloween in the Old West. There will be haunted mazes, there will be stunt shows, there will be entertainment. This is a very exciting time to be at Old Tucson. That wow. was magnificent. Epic. Nightfall, by the way, begins on October 6th. It runs through Halloween. You can reserve your tickets now. We've posted a link on our website, fox10phoenix.com. As for the new owners of Old Tucson, they're excited to bring Hollywood back. You may remember state lawmakers passed a motion picture production tax credit, which provides tax incentives for studios that shoot here in the state. That is slated to take effect in January.